entitled this message Holy Communion. Communion. We understand what is communion. Communion is one of the foundation of Christianity and church culture. Which Christ told us we should continue remembering. Jesus Christ tell us, Hallelujah, we should take this often and often. Hallelujah. We should use the bread and the wine and what in remembrance of him and his what a sacrifice. Jesus Christ speak of eating his what in flesh. Flesh, drinking of his blood. A way to guide to, 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 to regain your eternity. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the last meal that Jesus Christ ate with the apostles. The last meal that she ate, that he ate with the apostles. Praise Jesus Christ. Because of time, can we go to the book of uh, John chapter 6, verse 53? And Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I say here is the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood. Ye have no life in you. You have no life in you, except you eat it, except you drink the blood. Verse 54. Whoso eats my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Verse 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 56. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me. And I am in him. Verse 57. As the living father has sent me, and I live by the father. So he that eaten me, even he shall live by me. Verse 58. This is the bread which come in, we came from heaven. Not as your father did eat a manna, and I died. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Mean that you will have eternal life. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Only communion brings people close to Jesus. He helped. Hallelujah. Amen. In the time of healing, he helped. And he helped people to grow spiritually. Jesus took some the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and he gave it to the disciples. We are the disciples of our time. Hallelujah. We are the disciples of our time. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, take it, for this is my body. He also took a cup of wine and he gave thanks to God before giving it out. He gave thanks to God. When you read the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 27, we read the word of God. Hallelujah. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. And then we are eating. He took the bread and blessed it. And he broke it and he gave what? Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. And to his disciples and he said, Take it. This is my body. Hallelujah. And he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it to them. Say it. Drink here all of it. Hallelujah. Why the Lord is giving times? Because he's giving times that those that he's giving it to, they have already saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They have saved their soul. Why Jesus was giving times? He said, those that 
and we think now that they are about to drink those things, drink the blood, and eat the body, which represent the body, hallelujah, the bread, which represent the body, they have already saved. Hallelujah. They are saved. When you see a young man, a young woman, hallelujah, amen, that are serving God and the enemy is bringing them back or is taking them back to the world. We cry for them. And that is one of the great and powerful tears that, God, that normally come out from our Lord Jesus Christ's eyes because he has taken his time to prepare them. Hallelujah. The preparation is the food that he gave to you, which is the blood and the body. Amen. So he has prepared them with a time. So imagine they are going to eat from the satanic table again. So it may cry to cry. Praise Jesus Christ. So before drinking it, we are going to give thanks to the Lord. Praise Jesus. In the same Matthew chapter 26, verse 28, we read, For this is my blood of the new testimony which is shared for many hallelujah for the remission of sin hallelujah praise Jesus Christ Jesus said this is the cup that I have shared with you Me that this is my blood which confirm the covenant between you and God this is my blood which confirm which, which confirm the covenant between you and God. This is the blood that's going to bring you back to Christ. Before you were lost. Before you were doing all kinds of things that's not glorifying God. But today, there is a covenant right now between you and God. Hallelujah. This is the remission. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. So the Lord is telling us we should remember this. Remember this. Hallelujah. Show the Lord that he comes. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. The only communion is something that is going to flush things out of your body. Hallelujah. And bring you back to Christ. The bread that confirms a new covenant between you and God. Hallelujah. Examine yourself before taking it. <coughs> While Jesus Christ was giving thanks, he believed that yes, those are already saved. Not only saved, they are going to save people around them. Not only saved, they are going to save the God's soul. That is why Jesus Christ gave thanks. And he takes time to prepare the cup. He takes time to prepare. Say, this is my body. Hallelujah. Examine your body. Examine your soul. Hallelujah. If you are capable to take it. Drink it. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Father, this is my covenant. I renew my covenant with you today. I renew my covenant. Don't drink it on what you need. Don't drink it because you are hungry. Don't drink it because you want to drink juice. It's not a juice. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't eat it because this is a, it's not a biscuit. It's representing something spiritual. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen somebody who throw something down? It will just be just like a needle. You are seeing it as a needle. Anyone that throws such a thing. Hallelujah. He throw that needle for a purpose. The demon that wants to use that needle to perform. They throw that needle for a purpose. Hallelujah. The moment the person marches on top of that needle, because they are prepared that needle spiritually, they will see it as a needle. You will see that we will be telling you that something has entered your bone, has entered your blood. Your leg is not rotting. Your leg, your leg is doing one kind spiritually. So why am I saying this? The same thing that we are saying is not a juice. It's spiritually, God said we should remember this. The Lord Jesus Christ said we should remember this. His flesh and his blood. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you take a decision to say, Father, help me, I want to have a good covenant with you. Don't drink it as someone that's eh, like a, a coca. No. Drink it as you are taking it, you are remembering 
the covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are remember the sacrifice that is sacrificed in the cross. And the Lord normally say, anyone that lives in sin, hallelujah, amen, and you call yourself a born again, you are crucifying him, what? The second time. Praise Jesus Christ. Can we go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11? 24, I read. And when he had given signs, he break it and he said, take it, this is my body. He repeated it, he repeated it again in the book of Corinthians, which is Bro which is broken for you and this do in remembrance of me. Verse 25 After the same manner also he took the cup when he had super saying this cup is the new testimony in my blood and this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26 for as often ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death in he come. Remember the Lord till he come. Remember holy till he come. Hallelujah. Verse 27. We are for whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord. On what he me on sin. Whosoever that drink this, hallelujah, on sin, you know that you are living in sin. You know your way is not clear. This is the hour for you to judge yourself. Because when you judge yourself, you cannot be judged again. People don't understand. The word of God reminds you, say, judge yourself. Things that you are doing that is not glorifying God. Judge yourself. Because if I decided to judge myself, I know that I'm not the owner of this thing. I know within myself, I will say, ah, I know this thing, mm -mm, I'm not the owner. Why should I need to return it? No, if this thing is with me, no, it is a sin. Because the owner is looking for it. You are judging. It is a judgment. The owner is looking for this flower to return it. You are judging yourself and you return it. Imagine, if the Lord is punishing people for those that steal a flower, are you going to be a mom? You are free yourself. That is the ministry. Judge yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 27, he says, shall, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Amen. I repeat verse 27. We are for whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord on what shall be guilty of the body and the blood of Jesus of Lord. Verse 27. But let but let a man examine himself. That is what we are saying now. Examine yourself. Hallelujah. Examine yourself. Don't be I normally make people understand anything that will bring you condemnation, avoid it. Let everyone examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Imagine you know the man that you are living with is not your husband. The owner of the husband is crying somewhere. You want to drink this. You are bringing condemnation. If you take a decision and say, now I'm going, I'm leaving that man, I will take it and I will have a good covenant with God from today. Praise Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord's name is for me. Hallelujah. Amen. So if I take a decision, I'm taking a decision to say, mm, what I'm doing now is wrong. I have my husband, so why am I trying to do this to my husband? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me now? And you take a decision to say, mm, I'm not going to that man again. I will not continue because I, I, I've already had the covenant. The moment you take the, uh, the, the blood and his blood and his blood and his blood, it will cleanse you. It will make you clean. This is what the 
what this thing is representing now. Hallelujah. And you said, no, I will not go, I will not do that again. It is a sin. It is a sin. Hallelujah. You are lying before. You are, you are doing all kinds of things that's not glorifying God. Amen. And you are fornicating. It is a sin. You are drinking this on top of fornication. You are crucifying Christ the second time. But if you take a decision and say, mm, God, mm, this is your covenant between me and God now. I want to drink this. I want to remember you. I want to separate myself. I can't do this again. Hallelujah. That is why the Lord said, examine yourself. Examine yourself and let it eat of the bread. Amen. In verse 28, and drink of that cup. Verse 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eat and drink con eat and drink the nation to himself. Hallelujah. Not designing the Lord's body. You are not designing it. You don't care. Hallelujah. Drink it if you are ready to follow Christ in holiness and in righteousness. Verse 30. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you. Many sleep. Hallelujah. Not only uh, what you are doing that is causing you sickness. Not only what you are doing that is causing you pain. Not only what you are doing, but what you are passing through. There are some things we are doing to ourselves that is bringing pain. Do you know what sin do? People don't understand. Sin is the one of the highest contamination and afflictions. When we talk about sin, sin is very dangerous. It can make the person to be just be dying and waking. There are some people that will say they just faint. The other minute they wake up. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. So don't be weak. He makes some people to weak. He brings some people pain, sin. Hallelujah. Amen. So we should understand this. In verse 31. Are you with us? Yes. Amen. Verse 31. If we if we would judge ourselves, we what? We should not be judged. 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. The moment you judge yourself, you separate from sin. You are bringing yourself now out from the way of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. That means that you will not be judged again with the world because you know what is right and what is wrong. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So the Lord is saying, do not drink this unworthily. Judge yourself and say, Father, free me. Empower me. Cleanse me again. I want to have a covenant with you today. All things that I'm doing. There are things that you are doing your husband don't know. There are things that you are doing your wife don't know. There are things that you are doing. Hallelujah. You do it secretly. In the sight of God, it's an open venue. Hallelujah. It's a open place in the sight of God. Praise Jesus Christ. Not only that, there are some people, they are hunger, they have no power. Praise Jesus Christ. They are hunger. Every time they hunger in them. Praise Jesus. Be careful. Spirit of malice, unforgiveness. Don't drink this. And the moment you drink it, I say, Father, take it away from me. Praise Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus will be happy when he was giving it to the apostles. Hallelujah. He was happy because he knew those that they are going to save now. You want anybody in mind, you want to drink this, please take your time and say, Father, forgive. I'm forgiving this person. Forgiveness is all those who are. And I'm about to die with you. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you read the book of uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. Praise Jesus. Romans chapter 6, 1 to 2. He said, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that the grace may abound? Hallelujah. In verse 2, he said, God forbid. God forbid. 
So you cannot be living in sin and drinking the blood you said Jesus Christ understand. You, there is a way you communicated to God. There is a way God fall in love with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Or there is a way you are eating with Christ. You cannot be living in sin and the grace of God. Hallelujah. To Abba. And the word of God says, say, God forbid. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The hour has come for us to drown and to eat with the Lord. Me to time with the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. That is why he said, if you are hungry, eat at home. It's not a food. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are thirsty to drink water, drink at home. Look for somebody to give you water to drink. Hallelujah. Amen. This represents a covenant between you and your God. Praise Jesus. And the word of God says, except you take this. You see what? Except you take this, there is no life in you. Hallelujah. Why did he say that word? There are things you need to put out of your life. Amen. Then you take it. Except you take it. Anything that will deny you, anything that will stop you not to take it, means that you have no life now until you take a decision and say, Father, I want to take it. He said there is no life in that person. The person may be walking, you may be eating, you may be going from place to place, but there is no life because you have not decided to die with Christ. You have not decided to die with Christ. Anything can happen. The life of Christ is what is in the life of all his children. All those that he created for himself, he breathed his life to them. So anyone that are not ready to carry his life, mean that he doesn't know them. He not trust you in your relationship with God. Every time the way you react, the way you do things, you can, they can't trust you. Repent. Why Christ rejoiced and said, thank you, Father, those that I want to share my blood and this, my, my, my body with, they have already saved. They are saved. They are saved. Save yourself. What you are doing secretly, the Lord is seeing you. He's seeing you. I'm not judging, but I'm trying to make you understand that it's good for you to know that heaven is free and hell is free. Praise Jesus Christ. May God continue to help us in Jesus' name. We are going to dine with the Lord. Say, Father, I am prepared. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Area that I'm not right with you. I need to have this covenant with you for once and for all. I'm tired of living the way I want. Don't allow someone to tell you that <coughs> hell is not free. Hell is free. Yes, hell is free. And this is going to happen before the end of the year. Men and women of God is going to go. We are seeing them as a man of God. So God is going to come in before the ending of the year. We are started telling some they should prepare their way and make their way. Like uh, what uh, Prophet Isaiah said, he, he was saying to Ezekiel, he said, come, prepare your way. Your time is about to go off. So we are not going to live for it. Live here forever. No matter what you are trying to have, you are going to leave it here on earth. No matter what you are trying to achieve now. So why are you disturbing yourself? Hallelujah. Don't disturb yourself. The time is running out of hand. Sickness is releasing through spiritual and demonic kingdom. And how this sickness is releasing from sin. Sin. The worst thing that can happen to a man or a woman sickness like a disease i begin to understand in the realm of the spirit when we are diagnosed this of sickness it's not really a sickness it was caused by sin in the realm of the spirit god can make you a doctor in the realm of the spirit we have a doctor we have a teacher and by the special grace of god i'm one of the doctors spiritual when 
you are diagnosing some body, some some life, you begin to see that you know, this is not a sickness. It's what it was connected from area of sin. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Say to yourself, Father, bend down you. Holy Spirit, help us. Help me. Holy Spirit, help us. God Almighty, help me. Area that are not right, Lord, I've heard your word. Help me to repent. Help me to repent. Having you. My spiritual life, can it look like this? Judge yourself. The word of God says, when you judge, now you will not be judged again. Carry your spiritual mirror, begin to look at your spiritual life. Carry your spiritual mirror, begin to look at your physical life. What you are doing in the physical realm. What you are doing in spiritual realm. Say, Father, help me out. I'm about to take this partition. And as you partake in this communion, God Almighty is giving you a speed. He's giving you a speed from every freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom from barrenness. Freedom from shame. Freedom from calamity. Freedom from sickness. Freedom, freedom from marital crisis. Freedom from financial crisis. Freedom from afflictions. Freedom from stagnation. Freedom from death. Freedom from untimely death. And your salvation is sure as you die with Christ, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, Father, I'm about to die with you. I'm about to die with you, Lord. Help me. I want to be a new man, a new woman from today. I want to be a new man, a new woman from today. You give thanks when you share this with your apostles. Can you give thanks, Father, in my heart? From today, Father, give thanks. I'm about to take it. Father, may heaven celebrate me as I'm about to take it. May heaven welcome my spiritual life right now. Father, may heaven welcome it. Is sanctified with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Through this, may my way be amended. I made your way. Tomorrow may be too late. I made your way. Hallelujah. I made your way. You are going to see Christ. Look well. Look proper. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Father, I'm ready to follow you as a wife. As a wife. No one brings prostitute to himself as a wife. Hallelujah. I'm ready right now, Father, to be a wife. To be a wife, Lord, physically, spiritually. I'm ready, Father. You say, we are your wife. We the church. 